Howdy. It's about 12.30 at night. I'm in lovely downtown Byron Bay. And this is the Cheeky Monkey. There you go. Cheeky Monkey. So, I'm here now about 40 minutes after Theo Hayes would have walked out the door. Now, you say, why is it shut? Well, because it's winter time and all the summer people aren't here. Now, as you can see here, it's quite a well-lit area. And there's two people over there talking. And it's a... It's a, it's a seaside town. It's not a town like in a country town in Australia. It's a seaside town. Now, a lot of people get the impression that Theo walked out the door there and come walking down here. On oh, camera. Sorry about that. The camera's mucking up. Right. No, he didn't. I'm not going to keep pausing it, so I'm just doing this one off, right? I just do the whole video, one hit. Put up on my walking, see? So Theo walked out right here. Now, I hate doing these sorts of things where someone died. Theo walked out here, and then in the video, it shows him going past the van and a power pole and a pole that's the pole and when you walk up here in the in the shot the van is here and that's the security camera Theo was caught on he went round the corner of the building now I'm going to come back in the car now there's another point there's my car sitting there with the motor running nobody in it. Byron Bay is a very safe town. This is why Byron Bay was very upset. Theo disappeared. So, let's go and have a look. There's Cheeky Monkey. I don't think he did their business any good. I don't think it would either. But Theo was obviously not killed here. Is obviously this is where he left from. It's a stigma, but it's, in the original video I did, the car I was in had problems. So let's redo it now, as if with Theo this time of night. Now I'm going to give you the high beam on. Let's have a look. Theo walked up here. Now, you go down and watch my other video, you'll see Theo where he walked. And he walked down along here along this footpath. We all know what that is, don't we? Seatbelt strap. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me to put my seatbelt on, people? <laughs> so this is where Theo walked up here in the dark. Now let's see how dark it really is. No, I got no headlights on. Look. No, now I haven't. Right. No headlights on. So Theo could see pretty well. Now this street corner light that's out here at the moment it used to be on there is a street light corner light there you can sort of see it there's even a girl standing there and then Theo's come around the corner here and he's walked down here somewhere like most locals this is a dead end road so Theo would have walked down the edge of the road here. He wouldn't have walked over there because there's no footpath. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, there is. There's a footpath. Look. Oh, look at that. Now, see, I'm making out as if I didn't know. I do know. I've done all this before, and I used to live here. I said this on the video 
nine months ago. Thank you to all those people too that answered on the first video about the alcohol content. What he drinks over there in Belgium. Thank you to that person again. So now Theo has come walking down here. And then he's thought, oh, okay. My map's showing the road goes down here. And I get up to the road, it goes out to the beach. Oh, see, then he would have seen this. Oh, it's a dead end. But it's not really. There's a trail there. Can I get in there? Let's see if I can get in there. Uh, no. Oh, yes, I can. But what I know is the CO. Yeah, that's my reversing camera. Theo would not want to go in there because it's dark and it's lonely. And he would have heard voices. Because later on, I found out that there was junkies in there and they were camping there. So let's have a look at the situation. Let's turn the headlights off. Let's get out of the car and we'll have a look. So you're doing it here with me, right? I'm not even going to pause it. Right. So there's a street light. So he walks down here and he goes, Oh, okay. It's blocked off there. It's not a road. And he sees over here, he's walking around the car. There's a trail in there. And then he's gone, no, that's too pitch dark. Yeah, okay. What have we got now? There's the car material light on. And the camera decides to work. With the dog in the back. Yeah, there's my dog. Right. I can hear the ocean. But that's coming from the north. Now, that's pitch dark out there. So look, you can't see a thing. He would have heard the people's voices. This is what I'm trying to say. So Theo did the right thing. He backtracked. <clears throat> so what Theo did, he turned around and he walked back up the road. Right, so Theo walked back. I'm doing this now in the dark, so you get the point. So now Theo says, okay, I'll walk back up here. Remember, you're seeing what Theo can see. Except for the road construction stuff. You see there's a grassy footpath over there. Concrete footpath with grass either side. Now they put all these white bollards. They put them there to keep the backpackers from parking their cars there. That's what they're there for. Keep people off the bloody road. Right, and then now, because there's no cars here this time of night, and it's winter, I can show you, I can actually stop here, and there's the footpath Theo walked down. It's very well lit. Right. So... <laughs> and there's, look. You're watching my rear vision mirror. You watch. There's a guy crossing the road. With another guy. And they're crossing into the park. The same footpath Theo took. Look. And they're wondering why I've got my reversing lights on. They're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's not upset them. Right. And they're probably saying, why's he got his reversing lights on for? You know? 
because I'm filming them crossing the road. So I can't drive there through the park, so we'll drive around here again, around the block. And Theo's walked out the other side, like his uncle and his father said. That's my blinkers on. Now, Theo walked out right there. And look, you can see the two guys walking. There they are, they're coming. They probably think I'm stalking them. But Theo then turned around. Now, those guys there are directly now my rear vision mirror, right? Okay, I'll so say you get the idea. Theo's now walked up here on the left side of the road. This is how bright it was. Let's have a look. Just normal, typical, standard street lights. I got no headlights on. Well, it was an automatic park that's come on, but anyway. I think you got the idea. It's dark, but you can still see where you're walking. Because once your eyes get illumined, get adjusted to the dark, you can see what you're looking at, right? This camera is trying to film in the dark and it's not designed for it. So we've got a parked car over there, and then Leo walks around here. Now remember, this is about the same time of the night that Theo went up here, but in summer. Or before the real heavy winter, right? Because now it's August. This is August the 18th. So I'm trying to approximate it. I couldn't get up here in the exact date. I couldn't, even if I did, I'd be up here in the wrong weather because I don't think the weather was right. And I'm just trying to get in here. Now look, there goes a the car. And then Theo's come up here to this side street, Milne Street, M-I-L-N-E. There it is there. Right. There's bushes over there and there's a house over here. See, I'm not going to show on the people in the people's driveway. And in the other video, this is where the backpacker was parked in his van, the French guy. And then Theo has walked down there like all the backpackers do. And then tomorrow, I'll do another video in daylight and show you where Theo went. So, if that gives you an idea as what it was like up here when Theo walked up here, it was pitch dark. Let's have a look. But my car was giving off headlights. Look, I've got little tiny... Right? So... If you look out there, you can't see nothing. That's the moon, by the way. That white dot, that's the moon. It's a half yellow moon. So I don't know how well that's going to come out on the camera, but I just thought I'd just say for the record. See, my car always has lights on. So I can't actually drive around with no lights on. So that's the end of that. All right. 